Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Point by Kathleen Miller. Today I am doing something different, a little bit different. I'm still doing my drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spin. But however, I have two colors for my base, which is phthalo blue and dioxazine purple. Mixed into my ready to uh, use house paint. And I did a third of the blue, a little bit more of the purple and a little bit less of the blue. It's supposed to be a third, 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 but <laughs> close enough. I was just close off enough. of my mixture or my measurement here, but that's okay too. It'll well, all you, come out in the wash. You even have uh, different colored gloves to kind of match your split personality painting. I do <laughs> because this is going to be called the split personality. But um, like I said, there's nothing in my base. It's only with these colors. It's just ready to use plain white house paint, no silicone, no glue, and no water in any of it. So my colors I'm using today are Guatemalan green and sea goddess, which is primary elements, uh, French lilac and Irish petal, which is primary elements. Iris. Uh, Iris, I meant. What did I say? Irish? Irish. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Spanish moss, which is primary elements, jasmine, primary elements, rich cobalt, primary elements. Orange red and pearl papaya by Arteza, Bordeaux red Arteza, Sunburst primary elements, Payne's gray primary elements, and last but not least, cranberry primary elements, and those are pigments. So, let's get started here with our, I'm gonna show everybody. This is going to be our drizzle, and it's going to be a mishmash. And I got this shirt from one of my subscribers. I absolutely love this shirt. So I'm going to have this on too one of these days again. So we are going to get started here, people. And have a little drizzle room party. Let's get this party started. I should have that music in the background. Right. I'll be dancing around. That's right. Well, that shirt that uh, that subscriber gave you was super nice and I know you don't want to get any paint on it. No. Uh, because as, as some people know, you do have a little tendency to get a little uh, paint on you. Oh, rub it in. Actually, you have some paint on your shoulder. Now? <laughs> I do? <laughs> How'd I get that? Well, you've had it on your glasses, in your hair, on your nose, on your forehead. Oh, uh, at least so. I haven't gotten any on you yet. Well, yes, you have. Oh, I did? Yes. Oh, I, I must have blocked that out of my mind. A couple of your spinners have got out of control here. <laughs> well, at least I've never had a canvas that have spun off my spinner. No, that's true. You, Thank you the Lord for that. You have it secured pretty good. Yeah, I just secured my canvases with uh, my frog tape. And my uh, cake spinner is heavy enough where I don't have that secured at all. I just set it in my puppy pool and just leave it go. I do not secure that down. Of course, Kathy is using a lot of different pigments uh, today from Color Art Primary Elements. And uh, we do have, or she does have, a recipe video of exactly how she prepares her pigments and paints for drizzle pours and bloom pours. And that's a video 248, and I will have a direct link to that in the description box, and also it'll pop up on the screen. So check that out if you're looking to see how Kathy prepares her paints and pigments. Yeah, and I'm going to, once all my uh, series of the seven uh, bloom is dry, I'm going to show everyone that now you can uh, view those on Etsy. Phil did load those on Etsy, so if you uh, want to view those, uh, I know Phil well, told me that one is already right. sold. You won't even be able to show the one because it's sold already. I might be able, well, I'll, I'll oh. still have it here so I can show it, but um, yeah, that one is sold. Yeah, it's still drying, so yeah, we can show them before she sends that off. Yeah, it's the magenta one, so that one uh, sold today. And I believe that's the one that Phil uploaded today. Yes. To uh, view. Hey, this is how I get paint on me, because <laughs> all of a sudden I get an itch on my nose, and away I go. Now, it's, a lot of times there's a two, three, four, five days lag between the time that we actually make the video to the time that it's uh, it's published um, onto our 
channel. So sometimes we talk about things that have happened a few days ago, but that's okay. Well, yeah, because I mean, you know, time in a bottle. Yeah. We just have so much to talk about, Phil, because we just go so many places. You know, I have a question. Now, I'm going to ask you this question as well. When I wear my mask out in public, now I have no itchies on my face until I get a, my mask on. Then all of a sudden, I get itchies. Then I want to itch it. Does that happen to you? <laughs> oh, yeah, it happens to oh, me. Oh, I, I, yeah, I yeah. just can't stand that. It's like, why well, does this itch now? It didn't itch before. That is true. It's just... But I'm not, I will not go anywhere without a mask. Fogs out my glasses. I know, me too. It's like, oh my God, I'm in a steam shower. I, I don't even have to go in a steam shower. Hey, you know, that might be a way to lose a little bit of weight if you put plastic all over your body and sure. you sweat. Hey, some people use uh, plastic garbage bands. and Garbage plastic, bands? <laughs> plastic garbage bags. Uh, they, they wear those when they jog. It makes them sweat more. Now, if I'd see that, I would probably pee in my pants <laughs> because you don't need to sweat more here in Arizona. Mm -hmm. If anything, I'd have that plastic drawn up with some that, air conditioning. That was in, in that it. movie with Bradley Cooper. I can't remember the name of it. But, uh, yeah, he would jog with the uh, garbage bag on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now, oh, that would be kind of funny. And as you can see here, I am doing... We'll get... We'll get back on track here. Yeah. I am doing this drizzle. Well, we never get off track, do we? <laughs> no, I guess not. We're off our rocker a couple times, but we're I, not off track. I mean, usually we can be a train wreck sometimes, but uh, well, yeah. anyways, we're still off track. Okay, get back um, on track. We are doing our drizzle here, as That's you can right. see. Um, it's I very think. important that you get to the ends of your canvas, even though you lose the paint. You want to be to the end of your canvas. Right. The importance of the drizzle, you, you know, you might think, well, that's just, uh, you know, spraying paint all over the place randomly, which, you know, it is, but there is actually a method to it. And you want to get as many of the, uh, all the different colors all over the canvas without too much in any one spot. You don't want big blobs of one color in a spot because the object is... Um, and when you swipe is to get a lot of different colored cells. So um, See that little blob of orange that's actually bigger than you probably really want It is but, but you know what this orange kind of fades Okay, so it doesn't bother me if I have like a big glop Well, it's not the end of the world if you, if no. you do it, but you don't want to do it, Right. but I did on purpose <laughs> Just so I could explain it right right right. Okay good. See how we work together. Yeah mm -hmm. Some days are better than others. Some days, Phil will be working and doing stuff, and he doesn't even know I'm around. And then other days, I wish he didn't know I was around. Because <laughs> some days, I'd like to change my name and pretend that, you know, hey. I wasn't here. But yeah, Phil, uh, we did celebrate his birthday. He had a great birthday. We celebrated our anniversary. We had a great anniversary. And now, shoot, now we don't have anything coming. Now up. we got, now it's going to be boring for nine months. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's okay, too. Yeah. Can't celebrate too much. Okay, I'm just popping some of these bubbles as I see them pop up. Now, we have a lot of videos, uh, basically over 300 videos out on our channel and there's videos of all different types of of, of paintings of pour paintings you know flip cups and dutch pours and swipes and i don't even know the names of all of them but lots of different things you can check out and uh, so peruse through the channel to catch some of those other videos yeah we have um i'm doing some um Letters. Oh, blooms. You did blooms, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have that series of blooms, which yeah. turned out really, really pretty. And I think you uh, put those on Etsy today. Yes. I believe. Yeah, I think we already said that the magenta one was sold. Okay, this is the Payne's Gray. 
even though it's paints gray, it's not gray. It looks bluish. It's a really, really pretty yeah, shade of is. blue. Kathy's art is for sale. Um, she does have an Etsy shop called Kathleen Limited, K A T H L E E N L T D. I will have a direct link in there so you don't have to remember that. So in the description box there will be a link and it will be a pop-up on the screen to take you directly to her Etsy shop. So um, she has of course paintings in there, trinket boxes, uh, tables that she's done that can be inside or outside. So a lot of different things out there. And everything is free shipping. Free shipping, yes. So um, you don't have to worry about the cost of shipping because it's all free shipping that we give you. So feel free to, you know, start doing a little bit of your Christmas shopping. I mean, that's <laughs> right go. around the corner. Yeah, it'll if be you, here before we know it. If you go to Hobby Lobby, it's like Christmas already. It's amazing to me. It's like, oh my gosh, they have all this Christmas stuff out. Okay, so, so the, we have our mishmash. We've got the mishmash. The drizzle is done just the way it should be. All the different colors all over the canvas. I'm just looking for larger bubbles. The little ones, can't do much about those. And you don't want to torch this because you will get a skin on house paint. So now we're going to be on to the swiping. And of course, my swiping color is black. So to review, Kathy does have two base colors about a third of the canvas of, of each. So the, the one color is in the middle and the other base color is on the outer edges. So we're kind of a different way of doing the base color underneath the drizzle. So we're... So we have a split personality split going personality. today. personality. I'm very interested to see how that affects the outcome of the painting. Now this is this uh, swiping is going to take a little bit longer today because this is a pretty big canvas. So just Hold on to your seats, everybody. <laughs> it's going to be a bumpy ride, and it's going yep. to be a long one. Yep. Now, the swiping, is, as Kathy is doing here, that's exactly what's supposed to happen. You're supposed to get all these different color cells, and that was the reason to have all the different colored paints drizzled around, because that way you get a variety of different colored cells. And Kathy is taking this cell activator, which is black paint and Floetrol on the back of a card and then she's lightly that's, how it is. that's what it looks like there then she's lightly spreading it over the top of the drizzled paint you don't want to press hard you don't want to press down into those base paints you put on you just want to swipe it over the top of the drizzled paints and that's what allows those colored cells to be activated and that takes a little bit of practice so don't get discouraged if uh, you go down into the paint you just have to have a lighter hand and it, you know you'll be able to do it you just need to take a little time and just mm -hmm. practice practice on a, a canvas that you used and you you uh, right what a do small you call? area well just yeah. Just a canvas. I used canvas, an old canvas. Uh, put a little bit, of, just a little bit of paint on there, and then spread some cell activator and see if you get the same kind of reaction uh, that Kathy is getting here. And if you are, uh, fine. Yeah. If you're, if it looks like it's smearing uh, instead of just getting the cells, then you're pressing too hard. Right. If you go down to the base, right. you're pressing right. way too hard. And another thing you've got to be careful of is. You can't swipe a long ways. As you can see, Kathy is doing only about half the canvas on each swipe. And the reason for that is you don't want to run out of cell activator because then you wouldn't get these cells towards the edge of the canvas. So th those are the techniques to keep in mind when you're doing your swipe. Yeah, because if you do get an area where you don't have any paint, that you went down into the base, just go over it again with your cell activator. You can do it again. Well, another thing you can do um, is add a little bit of drizzle paint mm -hmm. back on. If you've scraped way too much off because you've 
scrape too hard or swipe too hard, I should say. Um, just spread a little bit of drizzle paint, a couple of different colors, mm -hmm. and redo it. And yeah. It might not be quite as colorful as these areas here, but it would be, uh, at least it would look better than not doing it that yeah, way. Yeah, it'll have paint on it. Yes. And see how almost instantaneously uh, that you get that cell reaction, which is that's what, you what want. you're looking for. So again, Kathy just puts the cell activator on the back of a card, lightly swipes. And everybody and said, oh, you make it look so easy. Yeah. Well, well, wait a minute. I just, what you're doing now is cleaning it. You, I ha to, you have to yeah. clean it every yeah. single every time. Every swipe is so important to clean the card. Uh, you can now, use the card a couple of times. See where the dark is? That's yes. where the activator was. So I'm going to turn it like this. I'm going to use it here now, right. only in the white part. Correct. Because Not where the cell activator was. You don't want any residual. See? Right. You don't want any residual paint from your painting to be on the back of the card. You only want the cell activator because that's what creates the cells. If you don't wipe the card, which I has happened to me because I always forget to do it, um, you're not going to get any re reaction with the cell activator. Every time you were going to do it, I'd have to go, ah, 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 ah. I know, I know. Because so, he wanted to do it every time, just keep dipping, because you get overexcited and you forget to wipe your card off. And that's really an important step. Yeah. Well, you'll learn real quick that <laughs> if you, you don't wipe your card, you're not going to get cells. very good results, right? No, you won't. So each step in this process, the drizzle, drizzle, swipe, <laughs> wreck, and spin, uh, all have certain techniques that you need to follow to get uh, the best results and so forth. So I'm really anxious to see how these colors are going to turn out with the two uh, split personalities. I, I am too, because I can, I can see on these edges that the, the more the bluish coming through, and then in the middle you're getting a little bit more of that purple purple coming through and then you're getting back into the blues on this on this end so yeah, I can't wait I to think see. it's gonna be pretty cool yes yeah it is uh, that's a good name for it it's split personality because it, it will be cool hopefully you got to put my magic <laughs> in it now we found when we do these colored bases uh, no matter what it is whether it's a bloom pour or a drizzle pour uh, the color the base colors don't throw show through as much while the paint is wet, but um, 24 hours from now, you'll be able to see the split personality undertones of the base paints, which is really cool. I don't even think I have a lot of rivers. No, you don't. You... Which is great. Just don't like this, but that's but gonna spin off. Yeah, if there's a little area you're not happy with, you can always uh, do a second light swipe over it but Kathy really doesn't have any areas that uh, she considers to be problem areas. I really so, gotta swipe that one really good. Yes. So you want 100% of the surface of your canvas swiped in this particular painting, and you want swipe to the edges to get the cells all the way to the edges too. And always put your cell activator back into the container so it doesn't dry out and do that same thing with your pigments and your paint right. as soon as you are finished make sure that you put your cap on it and you let them go so fresh yes fresh is very important okay so so now at the rec stage uh, Kathy has a pointed stick I can't quite see it you got to hold it up a little bit a pointed stick you can use a popsicle stick or any other type of a stick but she likes the pointy ones what am I going to do here, Phil? Well, I kind of like your continuous wreck, but that's up to you how you want to do it. If you want to kind of go down the middle and then some... Do you want me some... to start around here no. and then go and go and go and go and go well, and go? Well, or you can just do one down the middle and do the edges as you see fit. I don't know. You're... That's okay, I, okay I think we'll do this thing. <laughs> okay. And this is what wrecking is all about. Okay. It's creating a wrecking line, which is like flowery and wispy 
through the surface paints. Now, I am going to do this and this the okay. opposite way. Now, wrecking is wonderful, but you don't want to over wreck because then that can sort of be too much of a focal point of the painting. You just want it to add interest. And I kind of like that as pretty much all you want to do on this one personally. Yeah, that's it. Because if you do too much, you just it lose gets your, busy. You, it, we yeah. feel it gets busy and... Um, well, you lose your composition. Yeah, exactly. So this is really pretty cool already just through this stage. I can't wait to see these colors, how they're going to turn out. Okay, so okay, here we so go. We're, we're going to... <gasps> Abracadabra. Oh. Show me your magic, people. Here we go. It's flying off. I can hear it. I can see it. Oh, oh is wow. that pretty? <laughs> Is this thing <gasps> gorgeous? Oh my gosh, look at the base colors coming through. I'm so excited. You got the blue on that edge, and you got um, oh, the purple. The, oh, yeah, the, the blue. It just, they, oh my god, I love this. And the design this with is, the wrecking is just, the, uh, just enough. Oh, this is so pretty. My magic worked. Let's get a really close look at all the details and the colors. As you can see, the spinning expands those little bitty cells. And this is why you want all those different colored paints all over, because look at all the different colored cells you pick up. And the black cell activator outlines those cells perfectly, and it keeps their integrity. They don't get like mushed together and so forth. So. This is exactly what this technique is supposed to do um, with all the different steps. Do you want to know what I'm so excited about? What? That glob of orange. Actually, that turned out pretty good. I that's love true. that because you, a lot of the orange doesn't come through a yes. lot of times. And yeah. that's really pretty. So that extra little sort of spill that we thought might be a problem actually turned out to be a plus on this. Oh, this, this is beautiful. It is. That, this is that turned off. Abs I, I love the split personality. Yes. I'm going to do that again. So, everybody, if you like my split personality, give me a thumbs up. Share it if you'd like. Please subscribe to our channel. Um, you never know what we're going to do. I have a bunch of things in my head that's coming up. So stay tuned. And um, if you have subscribed to our channel, Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are growing so much. We are almost at 6,000, which I'm so excited. I can't stand it. So um, thank you for, for making our channel. Leave me a comment. Um, if I can help you, I will. And uh, until the next time, everybody, bye. I got to look at this from up on top. Boy, that turned out. I really like those colors. I love this.